which works better in killing viruses? A hand sanitizer or soap and water? So let's get to know more about what these two are up against. Viruses have membranes composed of a layer of lipid and protein. These two must be able to disrupt these membranes to kill these viruses. Now, let's investigate what hand sanitizers and soaps are made of and if they have the key ingredients that will break these membranes. How are sanitizers made? According to the World Health Organization, for your hand sanitizers to be effective in killing viruses and bacteria, alcohol content must be at least 60%. So to make a hand sanitizer, you must keep it at 2 is to 1 ratio. You have to have 99% isopropyl or ethyl alcohol to be mixed with a gel like aloe vera or glycerin. If you mix 2 third cups of 99% alcohol and 1 third cup of a gel, your mixture will end at 65% alcohol. Some hand sanitizers really smell good. It's because some have a few drops of essential oils solely for that purpose. Studies have shown that alcohol destroys bacteria and viruses by breaking apart proteins, splitting cells into pieces, or messing up with their metabolism. Remember, your alcohol should be beyond 60% or at least 60% to be effective. Check the label of your hand sanitizers now. Soap is the product of the process called saponification, where you mix fatty acids or glycerol with sodium hydroxide or lye. Soap molecule has a hydrophobic end, which hates water, and hydrophilic end, which loves water. While washing your hands with soap and water, the hydrophobic end of the soap molecule attaches to the lipid layer of the virus membrane which breaks the membrane and kills the viruses. So both work. However, with soap and water, you can kill as many viruses or bacteria as you can. The longer you wash your hands, the more viruses or germs you can kill. The flowing water is key. As bubbles of soap trap parts of the viruses, water gets rid of all of them as you rinse your hands. Yes, hand sanitizer is more accessible and handy than water and soap. Just make sure that you put an ample amount, enough to wet your entire hands. We then wash our hands as soon as we have access to soap and water before we touch our face. So soap and water is the best solution to avoid viral or bacterial infection. Keep safe everyone. 